What's up everyone? We just got off the mountain. Damon found this shed. We're gonna show you how to score it. There's four mass measurements. One's right here in between the eye guard, G1, but it doesn't have one. Next one's after the eye guard. Third one's right here. And fourth one's right here, kind of midpoints. So we'll measure these real quick. There's no eye guard. You just go where an eye guard would come out. Now, how, how to actual score it, they go to the fourth, but we don't do that. We'll just go to that. 4.25. Then the second mass measurement in between the eye guard and where it splits. It's about the same. 4.25. Then mass three or four doesn't really matter. Five. And then mass four, about halfway in between it says. Right at four. Then next, you start with the G1, which is the eye guard. Does it have one? We'll do zero. And then it goes G2 all the way up. You go to where it connect to the main beam. This swooping around is main beam. This the G3, that's the G, that's the G4. Better at main beam on this. Main beam. Doesn't really matter how you start. I'll start with the main beam. Most people like to have the horn like this. You go from the bottom of the base up. Kind of stick on the outside of it. 24.25. On the main beam then we'll just go down the line we'll go to the g2 like i said if you were to take this all out and curve it right there that's where it start so give it right about right there you're right at 15. And then the G3, same thing, just to where it connect, basically. Probably right around there. 10.5. And then the G4, which is this one, again, just to where it connect to the beam right there. Right there on 10.5. Full 10.5, is that right? And then, not 100%, but for inline and cheater, I'm pretty sure it's just the same thing. So right here, would be about right there in the middle. Make sure to keep it tight. Eight and a half on the inline right there. And then finally for this kicker coming out, it's kind of weird because it balloons, but it'd be about right down there, 2.5. Now we got our measurements, just put in the calculator. 4.5 twice, plus 4.5, plus 4, plus 15, plus 10.5, plus 10.5, plus 8.5, plus 2.5, plus 24.25. Right there. That gives us the score as a single, which is 88.25 inches. That's just rough score. That's not like exact. So this is just for the one side, but for now we're just gonna do it as if the other side was the exact same. So all we do right here. So we'll just times that by two, which is 176.5. And that's just as the horns. But then the next, the last measurement's the inside spread. It's kind of hard to say just because it's not on the deer, but it'd probably be a 19, 20 inch inside spread if the other side's the same, just from inside to inside. We'll just say 19 for the spread, which also go right here. And then you just add that to your score. 
and it is 195.5 and that's assuming that the other side is the exact same as this one and that's how to score a mule deer